If a man believes he has a new and creative solution to save the old Howard Franklin Bridge from demolition. Yeah, the old span is set to be torn down when a new span across the bay is completed, but a new plan is calling for the bridge to be spared, and the backers believe it could be a money-making venture. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson joins us now live from near that bridge with more on this plan. Hey, Jeff. Good evening, Josh and Jen. Well, construction is already underway on a new span of the Howard Franklin Bridge. You might be able to see the construction cranes behind me. But now there is this new call to save the old bridge. The Howard Franklin Bridge has spanned the bay since the 1960s, carrying countless cars across the water. A new span was built across the bay and opened in the 1990s, with the original bridge expanded to four lanes. Now, a new bridge is being built with an $865 million price tag. The new span will be eight lanes, with four lanes of general use and four express lanes. When the new span is complete in 2025, the original bridge is set to be torn down. But Neil Cosentino believes that's a bad idea. I think it's the wrong thing to do. I think we can repurpose the bridge. The Florida Department of Transportation says the maintenance on the original span would be cost prohibitive to keep it. Cosentino is a retired U.S. Air Force fighter pilot and now part of a think tank. He envisions a plan that would put a canopy of solar power generation cells across the old bridge. He believes the power generated would be more than enough to pay for the upkeep of the old bridge and even become a money-making structure. In this case, we're generating money. Right, we're generating clean energy. That monies will help pay for the bridge. Cosentino says under the canopy would be a trail that could be used by the community for hiking, biking, and fishing. And he also sees the old span as a testing area for new forms of energy. So we can test different uh, wind generators, low wind generators, tidal generators. This would be a test bed for all those. Cosentino has sent a letter to U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg asking him to take a new look at this problem. He believes he has until 2025 to change minds when the old span is scheduled to be brought down. Live in Tampa, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.